Hello shallow water brimming fans and welcome to my day two highlights from the Mercury Qualifier in St Helens, Tasmania. It was a great day, a day where I made a great comeback from 16th place right up to 4th place and I sort of did the same as on day one. It's just all my fish got bigger. And I had some pretty good luck, like this fish I caught while I was not paying attention at all. There's a fish. That ate it while I was putting the motor up. See, when you pause and do something. <laughs> nah, that's right. I think this is the only other one. Maybe just the keeper. Oh, they'll keep. They got bigger in the net. On the lucky craft. Now, on day one, we distilled a little pattern down in the racks. The fish were either at the end of the racks or in the flats between them, and we rarely caught a fish in the structure itself. And day two didn't start any differently. One. Get out there. Oh, the fish. Yep. This one will get the net. Fish doesn't like it in there. Here we go. Yeah, don't go in. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's a good one. Oh, that was hard work, that fish. <laughs> that was really getting yesterday, the gaps in between the racks. He's a nice one, he's probably eight or 900 grams. And while I was catching fish up the front of the boat, Brendan McNamara was quietly putting together a very nice limit down the back. Now, sometimes when you're fishing close to structure, you can get the fish's head off of the surface and you don't want it to get back under. And that's exactly what this fish did. I did all I could to try and keep its head out of the water and for it not to get any traction at all. And we nearly did it perfectly. It took a small run and then straight into the net. Now, when you fish in shallow water a lot, a power pole is an essential tool. And here we power pole down in between the two racks and we're fishing some weed beds that were pretty obvious with the costas on. Hey, looks all right. They always look good from a distance. Just wanted to not go around that pole there. Now you'll notice the difference between how hard I'm pulling on this fish between one which is close to structure and one which is out in the open. When it's out in the open, you can let it run. Um, and if you don't pump and wind that fish, it doesn't really change direction and it lets you really manage how you get the... Just before the pole, uh, he's got a good color in that one. Oh, I'll get a net. There he comes. He's another good one too. He's a heavy one. Oh yeah, he did look good in the water. That is a St. Helens. Medium sizer. Better than the ones yesterday. Now by just lifting that power pole up a little, drifting with the wind and then putting it back down, you were able to access fresh fish if you thought you'd worn out the ones you were fishing for at that time. Another one. Oh, good bites on them. Oh, don't you angle into that rat. Look at the head shake on it. <laughs> They're proper bites, those ones. They clunk it. There he comes. Oh, he's a good one, that one too. Oh, stay away from that thing, mate. It's funny how there's all these racks here and where are they sitting? In the flat in the middle of it. Not as big as the last one, but I'll take him. Five. Ah, 
yeah. That's worth a... <laughs> worth the old air roof. There it is. This one. A bit of fresh water is all we needed to get on them. This feels reasonable, this one. It's taking some line. Hope he doesn't arc into those oyster racks. Now, I will admit, the Z-Man grabs I'm using were ones I pinched from Stewie Walker the day before. He takes a motor oil colour and a bloodworm colour and he mates them together until they come out looking just great. Well, he wants to. No, you do, do your thing, I'll let him. Back off a little bit now. He's got the right colour on his back. He's one of those dark ones. Big head shakes on him, look at that. This is a quality fish. He's got that little tiny jig head in his mouth. <laughs> come here mate, come here, come here. Come here mate, come here. Boom! <laughs> oh, he's a fatty. Oh. So that fish is on the... Uh, Again, on that X-Man grub. Bit it real hard. They're biting much harder today than yesterday. Sorry, Z-Man, not X-Men. Hold up, well, I only fish these plastics once every couple of years. So. Now, by this time of the day, I'd started to amass a fairly good bag. So I pulled back to the pattern from last year and just started fishing the very outside part of the rack and this let my non-boater, Brendan, fish the flat beside it and we were both catching fish. Get out of there. I pulled too hard on him, he wasn't that big actually. It's only about a 32 I reckon. But obviously there was a bit of damage on the leader as he broke the leader. See I assumed you from Tazzy, because then that's right, Steve used to I remember going to dinner with Steezy in Melbourne. There's a fish! We'll just let him run that way, I suppose. That's an upgrade. Come on, bro. No. You look one of them just like that. Only a few minutes ago. Ah, he came out of a rack, they've started coming into racks. Can you pull my hook out of it? 35 and a half, that's a three and a half centimetre upgrade. 